At the Cross with Pat Fryer. Hello, brothers and sisters. Hey, I want to welcome you to another episode at the Cross. My name is Pat Fryer, and I just want to speak to you for a few minutes because I believe that the power of God is about to touch your life in a way that you have never seen or known. You know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, that the message of the cross is foolish to those who are perishing, to those who don't believe. But to those who are being saved, the Bible says it is the power of God. How would you like to experience the power of God? Do you have a relationship with God today? Do you know that he wants to have a relationship with you? Yes, he does. Do you know that he wants to forgive you of your sin? Yes, he does. Do you know that he wants to deliver you from your habits and hangups and things that you can't get past? Yes, he does. He loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him and what he did at the cross would not perish but have everlasting life. You see, friend, when we put our faith in Jesus and what he did for us at the cross, the power of God is released into our lives. You know, religion focuses on behaving our way and sacrificing our way to God. It is impossible to reach God that way. That is simply pride. That's what caused the fall to begin with. But God had an incredible, wonderful, amazing plan. He did something for us that we could not do for ourselves. And he said, if you will believe in what I've done, you will be delivered. What did he do? He sent his son to pay for our sins. He sent his son to sacrifice, as a sacrifice, to not only save us from our sin, but to deliver us. So what are you bound with today? What are you struggling with? What is the hang-up in your life? Would you be willing today to come and lay that down at the foot of the cross? Would you be willing today to stop fighting against it and give it to God and let Him fight against it? Do you know that Jesus Christ already overcame what you're going through 2,000 years ago at the cross? And do you know that He offers you the opportunity to come and make a divine exchange? You give Him your broken life, your sinful life, your lost life, and He'll give you His beautiful life, His powerful life, His living life. 1 John 5, 12 says, He who has the Son has the life. That life I speak of is eternal life. The life you and I are born with is natural life, but the life that Jesus gives is eternal life. Not just to save us when we die, but life today for living. He wants to give you that life today. If you will come, I like to say this, Christianity is not a changed life. True Christianity is an exchanged life. God doesn't come to improve self. That's what got us into the problem to begin with. God came to remove self with himself. He wants to come and live inside of you. He wants to come and share his life with you. God desires a relationship with you. That's why Jesus came. He came for us. He said, this is eternal life, that they may know you, God, and the one true son whom you sent. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus, and he is the answer. He said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. Maybe you've tried to come to God. Maybe you haven't because you didn't care or maybe you felt like you were too bad. 
I want you to know something today that Jesus Christ paid the price for you to come. That God is not mad at you because He took out all of His wrath, all of His anger, all of His judgment against sin upon His Son at the cross. The Bible says that He who knew no sin became sin so that you and I could become the righteousness of God in Christ. That you and I could have a right relationship with God all because of what Jesus did. You see, when we come to God and we ask Him to forgive us of our sins, He forgives us. He forgives us, though, based on what Jesus did. Not what I could ever do. I could never earn salvation. I could never be good enough. And you don't have to wonder about eternal life. Jesus guarantees eternal life for those who trust in Him. Do you trust in Him today? Do you believe in Jesus? Today, I want to give you an invitation to believe, to come to the cross, to trade places. You see, Jesus took our place as a sinner so that we could take his place as a son or a daughter. The Bible says that we're made right with God through faith in Jesus, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but by his mercy, the Bible says, that He saved us. He did that for you. He did that for me. And He has come to give you life. He's come to give you life more abundantly. Won't you receive this wonderful gift today? Would you receive it? The Bible says that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can call upon the name of Jesus tonight. And you know what? He will come and save you. You can lay yourself down today, tonight, at the foot of the cross. And He will come. It may be instant. It may not. But He will come. See, God wants to trade places with you today. He wants to fill your life with His life and with His goodness. And I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you to receive the life of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. You know you need Him. You know you feel what I'm saying to you is true. And I believe that God will confirm this truth to you tonight through signs, wonders, and miracles. You see, Jesus commanded that we go and preach the gospel to everyone, everywhere. And he also promised to confirm that word with signs and wonders and miracles. So today, if there's sickness in your body, today, if you're tormented in your mind, today, if you feel lost, today, if you're depressed, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would be free in Jesus' name. That the works of the devil would be destroyed in your life. That depression would break off of you right now in Jesus' name. That sickness leave your body right now in Jesus Christ's holy name. And Lord, I pray that your spirit would fill those watching, God. I pray today that they would be born again, sons and daughters, as they come to the foot of the cross where you died. And that they put their faith in you, Lord, that you would meet them. By your mighty power, Lord God. I pray today that you would work great miracles in the hearts and the lives of those who have listened to these words tonight. I pray that God would bless you. That he would bless your family. That he would bless you anywhere and everywhere that you go. Thank you so much for watching and may God bless you. Cross with Pat Fryer.